What's up, guys? I'm Brian Altano. I'm here with Allison Rapp. This is the final day of E3 2015. No. All week long, IGN, we've been covering every video game in the world. Allie and I specifically have been hanging out all week long. We launched a new show called The Brian and Allie <laughs> Show, where we talk about <laughs> Nintendo games. You brought me one We're more BFFs. Nintendo game today. Yeah, it's a good one, too. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yeah. The X game in the Xenoblade Chronicles franchise. Is it all of two? It's not, it's not numbered, right? No, yeah, because there was just Xenoblade Chronicles, which was Got for it. the Wii. Um, and we also released um, a uh, basically, you know, like a port with some added features on the right. 3DS. So uh, now this, this game is out in Japan right now. Yeah. But this is obviously the North American version. Yeah, we're, we're actually seeing some English. Um, the uh, game, like the text and the, um, the voices in English aren't done yet. Yeah. But we're seeing some of the English text that they put in. So what's, what's the story here? I see four people and a chicken. Oh, boy. Oh, Tatsu? Yeah. Um, I don't know what he is. So there was the R-Wing chicken, and now there's the chicken on here. Yeah. Um, so the general gist of Xenoblade Chronicles X is... There were these warring alien races, and they were battling over Earth. And Earth was about to be destroyed. And so humans took off in these big arc ships to escape Earth while it was being destroyed. And unfortunately, a lot of them were shot down. Um, they died? One <laughs> huh? They died? Yeah, they died. That's really dark. Yeah. This isn't even the end of it. And so one ship, the White Whale, escaped, and you know they were just flying off. Um, but they were, they crashed over an alien planet. And um, there was this pod, uh, basically it was New Los Angeles, New LA, so this kind of like city pod that survived. And so a lot of people survived. Um, but what they're trying to do now is they're basically, um, all the people that survived the crash on this alien planet now need to go out and find the rest of the white whale, which was like this massive, massive arc. Um, so they can recover uh, like pieces of it so they can save other people that were, you know, in pods, things like that. Sure. So and that's what you are, is you were someone that Elma, the white-haired lady, found in, like, a pod um, from the crashed white whale. So there's there's ship parts all over yeah. New Los Angeles. Oh, New Los Angeles is just the city. Oh. Um, right. So New Los Angeles is, like, the city that was part of the white whale that crashed. Um, and it's still intact. But, uh, and so we're seeing some of um, New L.A. right now. But um, you're actually in uh, this massive uh, planet, and we're going to be seeing one of the continents in the planet um, called Primordia. And so there's multiple continents. It's a massive, massive, massive planet, massive game. Can you steal those cars? The cars? Can you steal the cars? I don't think so. You Why would you want to steal the cars? Can you borrow them? You're a good <laughs> Get out of here. I'm just borrowing this. Uh, you're part of Blade. Yeah. And Blade is basically this organization that's kind of heading up um, doing the salvaging of the pieces of the white whale that have, like, crashed on different parts of um, the planet. So oh, the look. What do we have down here? Look. Look, Brian. Look at that little screen. It's beautiful. So um, we're showing the gamepad. And on the gamepad, you see these uh, basically kind of like this, sh these whole bunch of shapes. Yeah. Those are called segments. And the segments uh, show you basically the, it's kind of like the map, but it's showing you more detail on what's actually on the map. So you see things like if there's a named enemy in the area, which is a really powerful enemy, which we are not going to take on right now because I think we're, what, like level 15? Right. Um, named enemies, uh, places that you can mine for resources, um, places that you can, um, that you might have, like, found a quest that you haven't completed yet. All of that can be displayed on those little segments. Um, and so you, the game really does like, oh, and there's a kleptopedia, which returns from Xenoblade Chronicles. A kleptopedia? A <laughs> kleptopedia. A collectopedia. Oh, I thought it was like <laughs> a book of people who steal stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like that, right? Because you're picking up stuff and you're like, yep. I don't know if this belongs to me. It's, it's just it's sitting out on the continent. It's a book yeah. no one's ever paid for. <laughs> <laughs> so the kleptopedia, the kleptopedia is kind of where you take, t uh, you know, take info on all the stuff that you collect, that you, all the enemies that you see. Right. Um, and um, the game rewards you for doing that. So when you fill that out, you basically get, I think, what are called battle points. And battle points, um, you can use those to improve your arts, which are the things that you use in battle. And we'll see that in a little bit. Right now, we're just, um, we're on a quest. We're on a heart-to-heart -heart quest right now. Yep. And what a heart-to-heart -heart quest is, is it's a quest in the game where, as you're doing it, um, you're going to see, like, character background from maybe people in your party. Um, you might have a lot of opportunities to 
uh, like improve your relationship with the people in your party because you might have seen when you were talking, sometimes a little heart would appear yes. above some of the characters. That means that they like something that you said. So obviously yeah. we have this gigantic kind of open world, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And are you, are you sort of free to go anywhere you want and then die? <laughs> <laughs> yes, get actually. killed by a giant awful um, thing? Pretty much anywhere you can see, you can go as long as you have the means to get there. So, you know, we're looking out like that weird egg thing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's uh, some sort of boss or something like that. That's what I was told. Apparently it's like end game type stuff, so they didn't want to spoil me. The but main boss of this game is a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're telling me? Surprise! So um, you, you see like that giant uh, mountain up there. You can, you'll can you be able to climb up there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you see somewhere, um, likely you can go there uh, if you have the means. So, um, Right now we're just exploring Primordia, um, but uh, later on you'll get what's called a skell. And a skell is basically your own personalized, weaponized, massive robot that you can like customize with weapons, armor, color, whatever you want, and then go out into this huge planet and explore whether like it's on ground, you can move super fast, or you can fly. Um, what? So it's a way to like reach new areas that maybe you couldn't reach on foot. It's a way to get across land much faster than it is by walking. Can I ask you a question? Why would I ever get out of that robot? Um, so one of the reasons is that it uses fuel. Oh. Yeah, it's not unlimited, I knew there right? Was a catch. It's not like a magical robot that just you know oh runs right, off yeah, of I'm happy feelings. I'm sorry, I, that's a little too ridiculous <laughs> in this in this <laughs> massive <laughs> fantasy world of monsters <laughs> and, and chickens. <laughs> Giant eggs. You're like, pump the brakes. There's some rules here we right, have to do. Right, chill with. out, chill out. Yeah. So you have fuel, and um, you do like regen fuel if you get out of the skell. You can also uh, get fuel. Like if you go back to New LA and you go back to your uh, Blade headquarters, you can refuel. Um, so it's not infinite, uh, but you do use the skell to get to new areas this that you might see now, but you can't get to. This is just like real life. Everyone's just checking their phones. No one's talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what we did right before we came on here, right? Yeah, we're just standing <laughs> around like, hey, I don't want to actually talk to you. Are you starting yet? <laughs> so there's a lot of people in this in this game. There's a lot of there's a lot of people on this quest specifically. So you have this party of three plus the chicken. Yeah, a lot of yeah, chickens in this game. Hatsu, yeah. Um, so the three girls, the three ladies that we're with right now, um, one of them is of course our um, pro tag. Right. Um, so the pro tags are totally customizable, and the the customization options are weird. Like people were telling me, like, oh, you can customize a character, and I was like, oh, okay, like I can maybe pick the hair color or something, yeah. gender, whatever. You can like pick multiple different eye colors and like multiple different hair colors. So you can have like brown on top, black on the bottom. It's super crazy. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So you could have you could have people that uh, don't look like anybody else's main character in any game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a whole bunch of different tattoos. Like there's like, you put like a big star on their face. Like Mike Tyson? <laughs> Does he have a big yellow star on his face? Like no, he has a big an tattoo. An 80s rock star. His right. tattoo's kind of like a star Right, right, right. Face. Yeah, it's, it, there's so many customization options. So um, everyone's going to have a different character. Um, but so we've got our, our main character, and that's who we're controlling right now. And then we've got um, Elba, Elma, and Lynn. Yeah. Um, and those are t the other two ladies that we're with right now. Tatsu is also with us, but he's kind of like a guest character, so he's not going to be fighting. It's just going to be lady power right now. Tatsu, Tatsu's little chicken thing is uh, not going to be fighting. So now we've seen some Xenoblade Chronicles become amiibo. Is is uh, oh, some characters? Have, uh, is there is there amiibo support in this game? Nothing. Nothing, nothing at the moment. Nothing at the moment. Nothing, nothing that we're talking about. You were always very coy. It, were, it wasn't supposed to be. Oh. I'm just answering you. Oh, good, fine. Don't read too much into it, Brian. <laughs> that's, that's my job. That's what I have to do. I have to hit you with hard-hitting right, right, video right. game journalism questions. <laughs> and then you because, have to... Because your cousin wants more Amiibo. Yes. Yeah. He's got them all, apparently. <laughs> so or so I hear. We've got, we've got giant robots. That's one way to get across this world. Yeah. Uh, are there any other types of vehicles? Or, like, how, how do, like, are, are there, is there fast travel or anything? Get your jumping on. She's just jumping um, on the rocks. Yeah, actually, there, um, there is quick travel. Uh, so, um, say that you discover new areas. Yeah. Um, you don't always have to just, like, I mean, this, like, this, this planet is huge. So, yep. if you had to walk all the way across it every time you wanted to go to a different area, that would take your entire life. It'd so, yeah, you, you can, you can, uh, you can quick travel. Yeah. So those enemies back there, yeah. are they are they too advanced for us? Yeah, um, you can see uh, they were level 25. So when you're running past enemies, you can see their level. You can see if they're aggressive. Um, and that's by, like, the little red icon that appears next to what they are and what their level is. Uh, and actually, there are some enemies coming up. You can see that it's nighttime right now. There's some enemies in this tunnel uh, that we'll see in just a second that are aggressive only at night. Oh. Yeah. Why? Are I they trying know. to sleep and you're bothering them? Right, maybe. So you said, so there's non-aggressive... I mean, if somebody came into your house at night, 
Yeah, and but my house, my house isn't a giant world. Wouldn't you be like, get out of my world. freaking house? Yes. No, I would, be, I would be like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, wow. He's really interesting looking. What is, is that like a gorilla? We're on an alien planet. You know, I have to associate things with animals that I actually understand and know. So. Right, right, right. So actually, you, said there's, you said there's non-aggressive. Uh, oh, actually, Sarah, do we, ha- do we have some time to go back and see some of the bigger animals? Yeah, let's just let's hang out. I mean, just yeah? take over the whole show. I don't, I don't care. Go for <laughs> it. Because we've got a boss battle coming up. <laughs> yeah. But there, there are, like, massive, massive enemies in the game. Um, and so what you're doing as you're exploring is, so you can see kind of, like, those huge, huge creatures running around. Wow. Um, down there. And those aren't even really the biggest ones. You've got, like, massive, massive ones that, like, take up a whole bunch of the screen. Um, and, yeah, so you can see, like, are they aggressive? Are they not? Um, some of them have the little red icon. Some of them don't. So um, what's, the, what's the advantage of fighting non-aggressive creatures uh you get experience and you get stuff and you're i mean pants i mean morally why would you why would you <laughs> beat up something that wasn't trying to hurt you i do you? that really yeah i have to say so, so see there's this isn't even real, a really big enemy wow so yeah 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 this is just like a n- <laughs> normal big enemy and this is this is a non-aggressive enemy this yeah it's non-aggressive um so you that can walk what by is that just chill that's also it doesn't look like it's aggressive that's just not aggressive that looks man. i mean Incredibly aggressive. No, but like this, this world is so full of really interesting, uh, interesting flora and fauna, and there's like there's so so much. Like I said, this is just one of the continents. Sarah, can we can we head back to the uh, boss battle now, and we'll show off some of the the combat. Yeah, it's it's a it's really huge, and the the combat system is also um, really extensive. Everything seems so peaceful, and then we're just going to well, go destroy it. Well, those ones are aggressive, see, and you can also um, enemies catch on to you in different ways. So some enemies hear you, some enemies see you. These enemies, if they see us, they'll attack. So we need to run past. There's a level 51 up there, which we definitely need to avoid because yep. it's going to murder us. So I'm uh, obviously, I'm a big Legend of Zelda fan. We're, yeah. not, we're not getting that one for a while. Yeah. Is this, is this something that's going to kind of like fill the gap for me and hold me over if I, I want a you big know, adventure world? I think world? so. I'm really excited for it. Because um, if, you know, if you're excited about kind of, you know, what uh, they were talking about last E3 with the, with the new Zelda, kind of like that really open space feeling, yeah. um, massive world, uh, this is really going to satiate that in a lot of ways because it, like, it's just, I, I can't even express how big it is and how many quests there are. Um, and what's really cool if you've played the original Xenoblade Chronicles is that the quests aren't just like, do this thing, good job. Right. right, like things matter, and so when you do <laughs> quests for people, they react differently. Like they might, you know, go up here in a different location. They might um, have a different uh, reaction to you. Um, they might do something that impacts like another part of the story. Um, oh, and see, so now it's daytime, and these enemies are no longer uh, no longer aggressive. He's nice because he, he got a good night a yeah. good night's sleep. Yeah, they're good. All right, but this guy. But we're gonna this, fight him this anyway, guy's right? Our, our boss. Yeah, we're gonna Uh-oh. fight this guy. He is aggressive. Oh, so there's numbers flying everywhere. So yeah, it's yeah. It's, um, it's kind of it's actiony and also RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're you're actively moving around, but there are a lot of RPG elements as well. Um, so on the bottom part of the screen, there's what's called the arts palette. Right. And each of those things is a different art, and those are basically like the when I say skills, there ac- are actually other skills in the game, but it's kind of like things you can do. Oh, and did you see that that yeah. bee? So what happens is when that bee pops up, um, or when you see one of your arts glowing, yep. what happens is you're initiating a battle cry with your teammates. And a battle cry is basically like you or one of your teammates is saying, hey, let's do melee or hey, heal me. And if you manage to do what they're asking or if they do what you're asking at that time, um, you'll actually get a bonus. Like your attack might be more effective. You might heal better. Um, things so like it's that. So it's kind of like a, a kind of like a quick time sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those it happen it all the time in battle. So not only do you have to... Um, do you fall off? <laughs> <laughs> You died, oh no. Um, so not only do you have to pay attention to like um, what attacks you need to select on your, your arts palette, but you need to pay attention to, okay, what's glowing? When is B popping up? Because you need to be able to make those battle cries sure. um, in order to do the most damage, in order to heal the so most. So there's, n- there's night and day. There's also, we're seeing it's raining right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, there's weather. And so um, up by the time in the upper right-hand corner, you also see like a little cloud, rain cloud. Um, so uh, uh, weather also impacts things like buffs or um, weaknesses that you might have during battle. I have several of those. <laughs> when it's raining, what happens to you? I get sad. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to go outside. <laughs> and I stay in inside and play video games like this one. Is, isn't that what you do every day? Yes, all the time. I'm, it's, it's okay. Right? Right? <laughs> Validate me. <laughs> sure. All right, so we're back fighting this We're back this fighting this giant boss, yeah. What's his name? Looks like Shutter Simeus, right? 
He doesn't have an actual, like, it's not like Dave or something like that. Well, actually, some of the um, enemies are named. Um, I mean, it's not like Dave, but they <laughs> are. <laughs> you know, they do um, They do have, like, specific, like, blank, Shutter Simeus, and that's a tougher enemy. Um, and a lot of those are part of quests. Um, so whether defeating it or getting an item um, as a part of uh, defeating it. So are there sort of like, and, and we're out in the wild, out in the field yeah. right now, getting our hands dirty, getting gritty. Are there like towns you can go back to and just kind of chill out? Is it sort of that space station we saw? New LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New LA is going to be your base. Sarah died again. What level are we? Oh, okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, New LA is, is also really big. Um, you get to see a lot of quests there, or you get to accept a lot of quests there. Yep. Um, you accept a lot of like your main story quests, uh, like uh, in the Blade headquarters, which is kind of where we started out and took this quest, the heart to heart quest. Sure. Um, and at the end of this quest, we actually uh, basically um, rescue someone who I believe she's um, a part of the team later. But I, yeah, we'll see. You get a whole bunch of different members of your party, but right now we're just using Elmo and Lin. So killing enemies obviously uh, it levels you up. It makes you stronger. Mm -hmm. Do they do they drop things that you can then craft into items? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Um, so you've got uh, there's diff also different classes in the game, um, and each class can uh, use different kinds of weapons. And so you've just like yeah. Th so like there's multiple classes. You start out with one class. Once you reach, I believe it's rank ten, you can then select like a subclass. Um, you can start mix messing around with like what kind of weapons you want to use, what kind of armor you want you want to use. There's tons of armor. Um, you can also do a really cool thing um, where basically you accept or like you choose a piece of armor for, you know, its, it's buff or um, what it might be strong against. Yeah. Um, but then you can then change the, the cosmetic look of it. So if you're like, I really like this piece of armor for what it gives me, but it looks like I'm an idiot. Um, you can make it. <laughs> that's me, right? Yeah. Yes. I always, yeah. Um, you can make it, uh, you can change the cosmetic look of it. So we're back up here, we're, we keep messing with this guy. Yeah, this like guy is uh, kicking our butts. He keeps killing us, but we keep coming back We were more. supposed to be, we were going to plan to be high enough level to kick his butt, but... But I it just didn't happen. Actually, we're doing okay right we're now. We're doing good now. We're doing, Because yeah. he's, fighti he's fighting the wall. What is he doing? Uh, he's, he's hiding? He's really ticked at the wall. He's depressed. We oh, we blew him up. Yeah. All right, so now we get to see... Uh, Back to our cutscene and back to um, we're gonna go save. Wow, she I, I love how she's just like holding this gigantic gun. It's not weighing Which one? her down. The the, the lady on the right. Yeah. yeah, little girl. Yeah, Lynn. Not a problem. At least she's the mechanic. Yeah, she's super cute. She works out. Elma is actually awesome. I love Elma. She's the one with the white hair. She's a big big part of the story. Oh no, the person we're trying to rescue. Did she fall off the cliff? So oh, she's checking her phone again. It's really cool to see uh, phone, so many strong female leads. In Actually, in yeah, it's, like it's super cool. Um, I mean, from, like, the fact that, obviously, you know, you can customize your character. Lots of games do that those days. Um, but, yeah, like, you can basically travel with yep. you and then two other cool ladies, and it's just, like, girl power, man. I love that, because yeah. most Japanese RPGs star guys that look like strong female leads. <laughs> Because they have amazing hair. Uh, right, 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 right. Is Shulk one of those from the from Xenoblade Chronicles? I think so. I think he yeah, has incredible yeah, yeah. hair. Um, and of course, you know, there's there's lots of different party members. There's lots of different people that you interact with. So if you're like, I don't like girls. They have cooties. You can play with dudes. Why would anybody say that? <laughs> cooties is. Uh, I'm sure you're out there. Cooties is not an actual real disease. <laughs> I believe. I know because I got I got a cootie shot. <laughs> Did you? Yes. Did you go to the doctor for it? When I was a kid, I got a cootie shot to make sure I would never get cooties. <laughs> So now we found her, and that's Doug. Doug can also be part of our party. How's he doing? He looks he looks sad too. He looks pretty bro. Is everyone sad? Tatsu looks pretty happy. She's in a good mood, and that chicken's okay with the with the sunglasses yeah. on. <laughs> so why was that guy sitting on the floor? What's going on with him? Did huh? he just get Tatsu? Well, yeah, did he get dumped? Tatsu, the chicken? Her right there. Oh, her. Yeah. Um, See, I can't tell. So she, I believe she went and uh, attacked that that monkey m monster, but I can't remember. Um, we had to go and save her. We were out on the mission. Um, the original mission was just to go, like, salvage some of those pieces of the white whale. Sure. But then we find out from Doug that um, Irene is in trouble, so we came and found her, attacked the big monster. So there's a lot of drama between these people. Actually, yeah. Um, so, you know, if you play the original Xenoblade Chronicles, um, there were a lot of just moments where, like, you can improve relations with your player, or, you know, your party members, and that actually impacts, like, how well you do in battles, things like that. A lot of that returns. Um, so it's really going to behoove you to work with your party members to do heart-to-heart -heart quests, to um, you know do things that they might like, <laughs> not saying, but <laughs> just try to fit in. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's a lot of that kind of relationship building in Xenoblade Chronicles X as well.
So if you haven't played the last Xenoblade game, is this is this it's still cool to just jump in and play this? It's for the first it's time? gonna be great. Um, I actually was one of those people who missed the original. Um, and I totally want to pick it up on uh, 3ds. Um, but I just like haven't had time, you know, because yeah. I miss it when it first came out on Wii. And I'm really excited about X, uh, because like they're related, but it's not like a direct sequel thing where you need to play the original Xenoblade Chronicles in order to enjoy right. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Um, so if you've never picked up the original. Give this one a try. It's going to be really, really cool. It's massive. Um, and what's also really cool about it is if, like, if that intimidates you, you know, if you're like, I love RPGs or this looks kind of cool, but I don't have 200 hours to spend on this game. That's, that's okay. my problem. Yeah. Right. That's okay. Um, it's really one of those things that is as deep as you want it to be. You could cruise through the main quest and still have a really great experience, or you could spend 200 hours on it because you don't have anything else to do. That's I like having those options. When right. does this game out? Uh, December 4th? I yeah. <laughs> I finally got a release date out December of December 4th uh, of this year. So just a few months from now. Awesome. Allison, yeah. thank you so much for coming by, hanging out. This has been wonderful. IGN, this is the final day of E3. Stay with us. We've oh. plenty more games, plenty more surprises. This is just the best.